Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to be going over what the past week has been like for me. Um, I am 21 weeks today on Friday, so I did miss... A week or so but there wasn't like there wasn't a whole lot of change so I didn't want to bore you guys at all but um, one of the biggest changes is like I told you guys last time that I'm switching midwives so I did go see her I loved her to pieces like absolutely loved her she sat down and talked to me for literally like an hour about all of my concerns all of my well, what if this happened blah 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 like I just felt like that's where I was supposed to be you know what I mean like she definitely is the the one I should have been looking for at the beginning um, nothing to say bad about the other midwife it's just this one clicked and especially she clicked with my personality she clicked with my wants and my needs um, you know and she was real about things and I really appreciated that um, so anyways I went into my visit and like I told you guys last week um, on Tuesday, um, right when I was 19 weeks and some days, um, I had my anatomy scan. Everything was fine with baby girl. She looks great. Everything's fine. Well, Thursday, two days later, is when I went and, my, and met my um, my new midwife. I'm so sorry. Like, I straightened my hair. And you see these crazy flyaways? They're just like, you know, I don't know if you girls know, like, I have very, very curly hair, if y'all haven't noticed already. But when I straighten it, it's like little pieces get in my face. And they itch the tar out of me I can't even murk anywho sidetrack but I sat down with her on Thursday and I met with her and we talked about different things and she was like I'd be more than happy to take you on you know it sounds like something I'm very interested in you know this is a different hospital things like that and I really I really liked her they have one of the best NICUs so we're gonna go that route um, but anyways, I had the scan on Tuesday at the other midwife's office, but then they scanned me again, which was great. So that means I got to see the baby twice in a week, which is rare for a lot of people. So I was excited about that. And I'm not saying like a two, three minute scan. This is like a 20 minute scan. So it was great. So we got to measure her again and all that kind of stuff. You guys remember how I was telling you, um, on Tuesday that she was 11 ounces. She wasn't. Apparently on Thursday, they measured me two different ways versus the one way that that other midwife measured me. And it came out to be in 13 ounces. So she was two ounces more and she was measuring not a day behind, like I was told on Tuesday, but she's measuring almost a week ahead, like I was told on Thursday. So everything's good. She's not itty bitty. She's not not growing or whatever. She's doing really, really good. And that made me feel amazing to know that she's just doing great that's what that's what every mama wants is a healthy baby I mean I would hope so um but that was the biggest change so um and instead of going every four weeks like a lot of doctor's offices do she's like you know what I see people every three weeks and then when you get further along it'll be every two weeks one week and then da 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 but I just I really felt strong about her I really did and I felt I felt I don't know the words to, to put in there but or to describe it, but I felt as if she was interested in me just as much as I was interested in her. And I know to a lot of people, they're like, girl, that's crazy. She's just a midwife. Like, why is it that big of a deal? You guys, my traumatic experience with my son, I don't want anything like that. And I pray to God that I don't have anything like that. But I did not click that well with the midwife that delivered me. And so I want to click with this one. I want her to know what everything I need and I want in this birth. Even though I don't know health and all that kind of stuff comes first. But I'm not going into this birth with like a plan like I did with my son. Because obviously that did not happen. And it traumatized everything. It made everything 20 times worse. Um, it made me feel as if everything that I thought of for nine, nine and a half months was just washed down the drain, you know? So going into this, I don't have a huge birth plan except for one thing. And that one thing I expressed to her and she was game. She was like, that's perfect. That's great. Let's do it. So hearing that encouragement of like, all right, girl, I got you. That made me feel really good. That made me feel like, okay, we're, we're going to mesh. We're good. But anyways, long and short of all of that is I really like her. I really think that I'm making the best decision for me and the baby. And yeah, 
Woohoo for August. <laughs> um, as far as like symptoms, anything that's going on with me lately is I thought I was out of that rim of the sickness, the nausea sickness. It comes and goes again, you guys. Like I can just lay in bed some nights and just be sick as a dog. I don't understand like I'm 21 weeks today. This should be gone, but it's just not. I'm, I'm, I'm nauseous with her a lot. So I'm definitely, I still have, you know, where a week I'll go and I'm good, but then there'll be a day that pops up and I'm like, okay, like where's all this sickness coming from? Also, I'm having a lot of quick cravings. Like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. A random, my husband, he called me, or I talked to him on the phone yesterday and he was having dinner with one of his guy friends and um, they were at this Mexican restaurant and I was just like, that sounds amazing. Please bring me home some tacos. <laughs> and so when he brought me home two tacos, I was like, you could have brought me three. You know, like <laughs> I was just going through this stage to where it's like when I have an immediate craving, it's just like, gosh, I want that craving so bad. Sprite is kind of gone. Um, I did go through Sonic's drive through and ordered a cherry limeade yesterday for the first time in probably a year or two. That just like never happens because I told you guys I'm not a big Coke drinker. Um, but it just like rocked my socks. I'm not even kidding you like it was great it was it was great I don't know I'm not like gonna zoom in or anything but my face is taking a beating like it is taking a beating you guys it just has broke out it has become this pizza looking I don't even know what hormones are crazy right now they're just out there so I'm definitely struggling with a lot of the acne issue um, also as far as my weight I'm still around four pounds, maybe five now, I don't know. Um, like I told you guys, I'm not really weighing myself here. I'm just really weighing myself at the doctor's office because um, I'm really feeling better about this process of the pregnancy versus my son because with my son about around this time, I was already up 10, 11 pounds. So I'm only up around four, maybe five pounds. So I feel like I'm doing real, sorry, I'm sitting by a window and I get distracted with all kinds of hummingbirds and all kinds of stuff, but anywho. Um, but yeah, so I am doing pretty good. Not as far as my diet. I have been wanting carbs a lot more. So trying to maintain that because that seriously seems to be all that I'm eating. And also I'm back to almost every night or every other night. I have a glass of pickles with pickle juice about this much. Ooh, my mouth is watering thinking about it. Um, but I love pickles. I grew up loving pickles. Me and my brother just sit there and drank pickle juice all the time just because it's what we liked. Um, it's definitely something that him and I really, really liked growing up. So I've always ate pickles and I've always drank pickle juice. It's just a thing, but I don't know. It's like at the beginning of the pregnancy, I didn't want anything to do with pickles. And the same thing was with my son. Almost the entire time with my son, I did not want pickles at all. But with this pregnancy, I've got two jars sitting over there. And I'm probably going to dive into those after I film this, to be honest with you. Because my mouth is just like salivating like crazy. Um, but no, I am starting to have those little cravings here and there. Nothing that's been like, I want this all the time, every day. Nothing like that. Um, but the Sprite thing has went away. Um... Yeah, I would say went away, but I still drink it every so often. What is happening over her? Oh my gracious, that's not good. <laughs> we did buy a few things for her bedroom. Excuse me, I did, let's be honest with that. Um, I bought a few things for her bedroom today, her nursery. Um, so hopefully we'll be getting in in the next month. I have a few more things that I want to get for her, just like the hang on the walls, decor, things like that. Her room is, like I told you guys before, and I filmed in there a couple of videos. Um, it's just like plain white, just crisp white. Um, so we're very, we're not going like a bunch of colors or anything like that. Just very neutral, boho top bedroom. Um, it's going to look really, really cute. As far as my bump, I'm going to show you guys again. It is definitely a heck of a lot rounder than it was with my son. And I can tell that I'm my hips are widening a lot sooner with her versus with my son but i don't feel huge and that makes me feel really good to say that like i really do right now i do not feel huge it might change in about five to ten weeks but right now in this moment i do not feel big and my mom and several friends and uh family members are like girlfriend you're just belly even though i am thicker um 
I do whenever you can just look at me from anybody that sees me on a daily basis. They're just like, yeah, it's just your belly. Your belly, that's what's grown. And it is. I really wholeheartedly believe that because when I look at myself, I just feel like I've got a basketball in the front of my stomach, but my hips are widening out. With my son, I distributed fat and everything everywhere. In, in my fingers, in my toes, like everywhere I got thicker. So with this pregnancy, it is much different. I'm carrying lower with her, rounder with her. Um, it's mainly in my stomach more than anything. So um, it is a lot different, but I'll take it because I'd rather grow in one area versus every area, if you know what I'm saying. Um, my breasts are still out of control. I'm just going to be honest with you there. I went and tried on a couple of regular bras. No, not the ones that you would just like pretty ones or whatever. Just regular ones that I could adjust and stuff like that. And I was just uncomfortable. You guys, I was so uncomfortable. And they were just like sports supportive bras, okay? Because um, those seem to be way better for me than the snap bras. You know, just regular bras. That's really not comfortable for me right now. I'd rather wear a sports bra all day, every day, or no bra, to be honest with you. Um, TMI, but it is the truth, and this is a pregnancy vlog, so I feel like all women are usually the ones that are watching this. Um, but I seriously, I just can't. Um, I feel like every time I go to put a bra on, it digs into me. I can feel like my breasts are just getting so much larger that it's just... It's tearing me down like and then right in here like this is a double strand and it's very stretchy and I think this one came from Walmart I actually stole it from my mom not really stole it from her but I asked her I said hey I like this bra can I wear it and just haven't given it back to her sorry mom love ya um sorry but um, it is very nice it is very supportive but at the same time I feel like I don't want to wear the same exact bra every single day so I am working on figuring out when I can go and try on some more bras. Now, there are a couple of bras that I really, really love for a motherhood maternity that I do have in larges. I've got two of them. They're the exact same thing. Um, my sister-in-law gave them to me right after she had her son when I was pregnant with my son. Uh, and they fit great when I was pregnant with him. Right now, I can't even, when I put it on, I don't even wear it for 10 seconds and there'll be lines just dug into me complete thick lines and then around right here would just be like thick creases you guys like it's i'm not even kidding you it's very uncomfortable and i've showed my mom i'm just like look at my neck look at my shoulders like it's just killing me so if you guys have any recommendation of maternity bras that are still comfortable but supportive at the same time like maybe even the thick straps I don't even care. I just want to be comfortable. And the fact that I am a larger breasted woman, I can't just go out in public with no bra on every day. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of got to cover the girls up, okay? So, that being said, I just really need some good supportive bras. So, if you guys have any recommendations, please drop them below because I plan on going either this weekend or sometime next week to Motherhood Maternity, to Target, to do a few different shopping uh, do some shopping around to figure out what's going on. We, me and my husband did go last week to Target because I told him, I said, I cannot do it anymore. We've got to go. Let's just go. We were by Target. Let's just run in really quick. They have two balls, you guys. Two maternity balls. One's a small. Mm -mm. And one was a large. So I'm like, I'll do my best. Couldn't get it over my shoulders. Could not get it over my shoulders. I was like, how? How do you only have two balls? Like, come so I was really devastated about that and I was just like I was so devastated I didn't even want to go anywhere else and my husband's not really like a shopper so he was he was done whenever he figured out okay that didn't work I ain't going anywhere else it's fine it's whatever so I've got to find the time you know get my mom or somebody to babysit my son so I can just really focus on my needs because that is a need of mine really really bad and plus I had trouble, like I told you guys, breastfeeding my son, and there's a few different things I'm going to be doing this time around. Um, excuse me. A lot of different things I'm going to be doing this time around with her um, to hopefully be able to breastfeed versus what all I did and did not do with him. So I'm really hoping, 
I'm really hoping that I can figure everything out and figure out what works for me. And one thing that I have realized that when going to shop for maternity bras is I don't need anything that's super tight um, because I can mess some stuff up. Um, but I do want something that is supportive. So something that's supportive, but that fits me really, really good um, is definitely something I'm going for. So I'm going to go out and venture to see if I can find some stuff that works for me. And hopefully it does. Hopefully I can find some stuff that works. Well, that is all I have for you today. I'm going to show you guys my bump. Let me know what you guys think about this video. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. It means a whole lot to me. And if you are interested in seeing more videos from me, just hit that subscribe button and follow along with this journey with me and my life and my family. Um, thank you guys once again for chiming in. Any questions, please feel free to drop them down below. Bye guys. Here is my bump. And these are another pair of the Jessica Simpson maternity pants from Motherhood Maternity. See how round. And y'all just thought I was kidding you. Yes. Yes, I'm attempting to film in the car, but I don't have anything to stabilize that. However, she just got a pair of shoes in. I ordered her several, several pairs. Oh my goodness, you guys. Really? That's the type of stuffing comes in this stuff? Anywho, little mox. Not actually Mox brand, off brand, but aren't they cute? They stretch. Oh, it's popping into me. No, we're good. I was giving you more rent. Oh, I'm not even that. I'm obsessed with roosters. So instead of showing him a bunch of cartoons, he would prefer to watch. Rooster's crowing. Hey, I mean, whatever works. I mean, we're southern, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah. Are you going to push your hair? Good job, honey. <laughs> good job. You're doing so good. I could just start it. You're doing so good, bud. Thank you. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello